my name is Armageddon, man. I'm a rapper. You know what I mean? I'm a rapper. I, I started off in the Trouble Squad rap group with, you know what I mean, Cuban Link and, and, and Fat Joe and Big Pun and Prospect and, and Triple Sage. Like, so if you don't know me, you might know me from there. You know what I'm saying? Um, I'm a rapper, man. I'm, I'm a lyricist. I'm an artist. I'm a creator of all things. I mean, I've been doing this since I was a kid. I have to say fifth grade I've been rapping. You know what I mean? I ain't really get serious about it until so I was like 16. I met Fat Joe in the studio. And he was like, you know, he put me on. He said, you're rap? I said, yeah. He put me on this Red Alert promo. I said, yeah, fuck it. I jumped on the promo. From that point on, I was on the radio, man. I was a rapper. When we first came out, we came out as a group. As a group. But we all had the plan of at least going solo at some point. You know what I'm saying? When I was a group thing, the group thing was sort of just like, like how Wu-Tang did. Wu-Tang came out with the same shit, and then they all went off and did their individual projects. That was the plan. It just fell apart. Like, it didn't go the way it was you know, supposed to go. You know, we dropped it. So we scored album. Um, I think Punna had already dropped his album. We dropped the So we scored album. The next album might have been Yeah Baby. And then I think Joe dropped an album. They was working on Cuban's album. I was working on the album. Everybody was working. It's just, they just make mistakes. It didn't pan out the way it was supposed to pan out. You know what I'm saying? Going through that situation, you lose the passion. You lose the love for this shit. And when I ventured off on my own, I had to reconnect with that love and that passion. You know what I'm saying? Like, I had to come back down out of the clouds and reconnect with my roots. I found myself again. You know what I'm saying? Cut off all the bullshit niggas, cut off all the fake shit, cut off all the, the negative shit, and just kind of center myself on and find myself again. And, and, and this is the product of it. I'm the product of that right now. You know what I'm saying? I'm doing me right now, and I'm good. You know something? How I got on was, 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 was by accident. I never really pursued it like that, you know what I'm saying? I mean, at some point out there, I go from I pursued it like in high school, but that was playing around, you know what I'm saying? Everybody wanted to be a rapper at the time. When I was hanging out in the studio, I wasn't even there on no rap shit. I was there on some artist shit. Like, I wanted to do fucking uh, album covers and shit. This kid that named Eric Hall, he started me off. Like, he, he do album covers, and that's what I wanted to do. You know what I'm saying? I wanted to do some art shit. I was on some graffiti shit. I wanted to do some art shit. So he um brought me up to the studio and I started hanging out with them in there and, and I, I fell in love with the music side of it as opposed to the hip hop, I mean as opposed to the artist side of it. And um that's what happens. Like I met Joe, I met all these different artists and I, I just kinda of fell into it. It wasn't like I went hard for it and I put myself in a certain position to get get on. You know what I'm saying? I think that's a lot of, that's part of the reason why I never came out. You know what I'm saying? I feel like it was too easy. Like I was just throwing it. I feel like I didn't earn it. You know what I mean? So, 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 me stepping off from, from Joe at the time and doing my own thing, now I'm earning it. You know what I'm saying? So it's all mine. I'm good with it. You know what I'm saying? As opposed to just falling into a shit and somebody giving it to you like, hey, look, I'm a little nigga. I ain't know what the fuck I was doing. You know what I'm saying? I just, I just didn't feel worthy of it. I felt too lucky. Like, this don't happen to niggas every day. Like, what the fuck is this? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, now that I'm building and rebuilding it and shit, and it's all mine, and I still got relationships with people, and, and I'm strengthening relationships with people. It's all good. I'm good. Music-wise, I mean, my music is pretty much the same. It changed for a while. You see, my shit got more dark, and it was more like pass away, and, and, and it was more talking about life shit, like, you know, what's wrong with life and shit like that. I got that out of my system now, you know what I'm saying? I know I can do that, anybody can do that, you know what I'm saying? Now I'm back on my shit, I'm back on that Armageddon shit. Shit that niggas knew me for, you know what I'm saying? That, that Armageddon shit, the end of the world shit. You know, and it feels good to be doing that shit. That, that's the music you get, you know what I mean? Like, so what happens is you grow as an artist, and when you try to put out the music that, that, you, that you into now, niggas can't feel that shit because they used to the old you. They like that, that the first CNN album, they like the first Fat Joe album, they like the first Ray Kwan album. You know what I'm saying? They fell in love with that shit. They made a connection with that shit at the time. So when you come out with some new shit, like, like let's say like Jay-Z or some shit, where he, as he grows, his music grows, you come out with some new shit, and it's like, ah, that shit's whack. You know what I mean? But because he's Jay-Z, you force yourself to like it. It's not that it's whack, it's, like, it's not what you was expecting. When you connect yourself with that first style of music, you can do some kind of bond with that shit, and that's what you're looking for when he comes out with his new shit. And I realized that in the process of doing my shit, the shit I was doing was just all some other shit, other level shit. As I grow, so in my rhymes, you know what I mean? I had to reconnect with that raw and expand that first thing you get.
any business, any kind of marketing, your, your, your plan is going to change regardless. This shit got to be flexible. You can't say I'm going to do this, do this, do this, do this, but try to stick to it. You're going to drive yourself crazy. Times change, technology change, situations change, you got to adapt to shit. So the game plan, I mean, at the end of the day, is to be successful. But, you know, it's different levels of success. You know what I mean? So my, my level of success that I'm aiming for is for me to be financially free. You know what I'm saying? Well, I can do what I need to do and handle what I need to handle, take care of my family and all that shit. And I'm good and still make music and still create other shit. It's not just about music. I want to create all kinds of shit. All kinds of businesses, all kinds of other shit. You know what I'm saying? So the game plan is still there. It just changes over time. You know what I mean? It doesn't stay the same. It changes. You meet new people, you bring new opportunities to the table. All right, let me go out with him. See what I can work out with him. You know what I'm saying? You meet a jeweler or somebody and you know a watch dude that makes watches. You want to put them two together and come up with some kind of business plan. So you can get broke through and you can get some PC off of it. Do it. Whatever opportunity comes to you, you just gotta do it. But keep your eye on, on, the, on the major plan, which is being successful. If you in school, stay in school, okay? You know what I mean? If you got a good job, keep working that good job. I wouldn't, I wouldn't suggest quitting your job, losing, you know, dropping out of school and pursuing the rap shit. You know what I mean? Like, it's, it's a chance game, man. I don't care how nice you are. Even the whack niggas get on, you know what I'm saying? It's a chance game. It's where you know when you run into the type of drive you have. Like, it's a lot of shit. It's a combination. So I get kids that just one cat told me, yo, man, I got a chance to go to school and, and such and such, but I want to be a rapper. I said, go to school. This nigga gave me the illest look in the world. Like, like I crushed his dreams. Like, I want to be a rapper, though. It's not realistic, my nigga. Not everybody could be an NBA player. You know what I'm saying? You got and one you got other little leagues and shit. You can make $50,000 a year, $60,000 a year playing ball and you're good. Not everybody could be in the NBA making fucking $50 million a year. Like, you just gotta be realistic with your goals, you know what I'm saying? So if you are planning on dropping out of school or quitting your job or something, be realistic with your shit. Like, look at your budget, your shit. You know, look at your expenses. You know, can I cover my expenses for this month or for the next eight months or six months or more? I have a three-year, five-year plan or something. Don't just quit and say y'all gonna be a rapper. It don't work like that. You know what I mean? And a nigga like me, I've been doing this from day one, you know what I'm saying? So it's gotta be 24 hours around. You can't work a nine to five and then be a fucking rapper on the side. It don't work like that. The first thing you need to do is get your songs, your song structure down back, you know what I'm saying? Don't just fucking rap. Anybody can rap for me. Anybody can bark out a bunch of words that rhyme and, and talk shit, you know what I'm saying? You gotta get your songs down back, your song structure. And I'm not talking about just get a beat throw a chorus on it and spit three verses of bullshit. I'm talking about making a real song, a song that has some kind of depth to it, a song that has an emotional attachment that somebody can feel and be like, yo, that should be a hot song. More than just, yeah, I just threw some hot lyrics on this shit. You know what I'm saying? Make a real song. You gotta make real music, period. You gotta know how to make music. Um, that's the first step. The second step would be getting that music out, man. Like, you know, day and age, man, you can do it online. You know what I'm saying? You start with your family and friends, you use them as your fans and shit. Get them to spread the word, you give them your music, you know what I'm saying? You tell them where your website is at, you have them tell their friends and shit. And then niggas download the music for free. Get this shit out for free, man. You ain't gonna make money off it. Like, it's the top. Get this shit out for free. The more people you got your music for, the more people know who you are. Maybe do a couple shows, you know what I'm saying? I don't give a fuck who living room shows you do. Like, you your own fucking show in your house. Do something to get niggas to come out and see you perform and play, right? It's nice. We got a good show, he's dope. You know what I'm saying? Just start from scratch. And, yo, and, and you know what? The number one thing I tell a nigga? Research. Just research online. I can tell you some shit and it might not work for you. Just research online, dude. There's no excuse why you shouldn't have any kind of information that you need when the internet's at your hands. Dude, we ain't had that shit back in the days. You had to go to the library or ask somebody something. Or you're lucky if you even got the answer. My nigga, you got the internet. There's no excuse why you shouldn't know how to market your shit. There's no excuse why you shouldn't know how to talk to people or how to, how to, how to use a social network. It's a social network. It's not for you to be up there blasting niggas saying, yo, listen to my shit, keep my shit. Niggas don't want to hear that because I know you don't like it when niggas send it to you. You know what I'm saying? That's for socializing. It's for building relationships. Man. It's a new millennium, man. Build relationships. That's how your shit pops. Build relationships. That's how niggas get to know who you are, what you about, and they support you. Niggas don't want to be sold on nothing. Niggas want relationships with people. You know what I'm saying? That, I, I say that's that's key right there. You build relationships and learn how to socialize with people on and offline. You know what I'm saying? And always be promoting your shit.
thought you was fast. I'ma torture you past points that nobody has. I'm like global warning, releasing poisonous gas. This is global. This is on again, aka gettingmusic.com. I'm here with my nigga OTO, and we repping PS. We the best.com. You heard?